I'm doing some work with Raspberry Pi over SSH. Now, I don't particularly care for the editors that I can access from within the text console. I mean, they function, but there are better experiences. Where I'm using a Pi directly, I would just install Visual Studio Code on it. And I have another YouTube video uh, available on how you can do that on my YouTube channel. Uh, but today, I'm going to show you how to use VS Code on another computer to edit files on a Pi. So what you see here is a Windows 11 computer. Uh, I've never run VS Code on this machine before, and you're seeing it be installed now. Uh, since this is a fresh installation, I know there's not any dependencies on components that I have installed and forgotten about. Now, for the sake of brevity, I'm going to remove parts of the installation in this video. So here's the installation done. Let's go ahead and open up uh, VS Code instead of SSH access. So you start off by opening the extensions tab on a left menu and in a search text box, type SSH. Uh, you'll see remote SSH extension. You wanna select that and click on the install button. <clears throat> now, after a few moments, the install completes and you can press the F1 button and type SSH to start using it. So select the option to add a new host and using your Pi's IP address, type the command that you normally use for connecting to it, um, which is ssh space pi at and then the IP address. Now you're asked where to save the configuration. I selected to save it in my user configuration file instead of my machine configuration file. Now press F1 again and uh, you're going to have a new option here. Uh, select the option to connect to a host. Now the IP address that you had just entered shows up, select it, and you'll see another instance of VS Code open. This one is connected to the Pi. Now select Linux as a platform and accept the SSH uh, fingerprint. Enter your account's password. And that's it. You're connected to the Pi. You can select uh, the open folder button. And it looks a little strange, but you are uh, selecting a folder from here. So I'm selecting the folder that I'm working from, from for another project. And that's it. Uh, it takes a second or two to list my files, but uh, now my Pi files are visible from Windows 11. So I don't have to manually copy anything back and forth. Now this works the exact same for Mac and Linux, and it lets you edit files on your Pi remotely from any operating system. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see other videos like this, I have others on my Instagram uh, page at instagram.com slash j2inet, and on my YouTube channel, uh, which is under the same name, j2inet. So let me know what type of videos that you'd like to see in the future. And as usual, you'll be able to find this information later on in written form on my blog, which is at j2i.net. Until next time.